This is Belinda from the Strathroy Antique Mall. And yes, I work in the antique mall and these things come up all day long. And I use them. I'm always asked, what do you have at home? Honestly, who wouldn't want this phone at home? It's fun. It's cool to look at. It makes you smile. I think the vendor has it priced at $15. You can't go wrong. You can plug it in and try it. Yep, $15. That's fun. My little grandchildren, they just love picking up phones like that and saying hello. My children are used to it too. They're probably a bit old fashioned with all this stuff in our house. Here's the next piece, an ashtray. It's like eight bucks. It's porcelain. I have them outside and that's what the company uses. I'm not going to be able to get an ashtray that's glass and tin and looks neat for eight bucks. Even new stuff. When I go to Value Village I find a lot of times they take these antiques and put on like 20, 30. Here's the old General Steel Wears Limited Mark. It's authentic, it's old. And it's only eight bucks. You can't go wrong. Here's the next piece. No, it's not an orange pitcher. It's a tomato pitcher. And when I get my cans of tomato juice, I open it up and I pour it in this. And this is what we drink out of. It's got old decals on it. You have to hand wash it, but that's no big deal. It's got all the beveled sides. It's a nice chunky pitcher. It looks great. It's cheery. It makes your morning breakfast happy. It's just fun to use. Why not? And what's it priced at uh, $7? This is old cranberry bowl. It's got hand painted flowers. It's got thumbnail. It's simply stunning. I use these in my house. I don't put hot things in. I did that once and the bottom came right out. I put corn in with water. So I try to keep it to temperatures that's not too cold and not too hot. A lot of times I put jellos in this and whipped cream on top or bananas. And I'm not worried that the grandchildren are gonna break it or we are, because at these prices, I don't worry. If I went to buy this brand new, like cranberry and this kind of quality and hand painted, it'd be 50 and up. Here at the antique mall, when we get the price on this one, eventually, it could have a chip on the edge, but you can sand that down too with sandpaper if you're going to be using it. And why not use it? But I think it was 20 or 15. This here, I have one of these too. It's in my fridge. If you saw in my fridge, you'd probably laugh, but it's cute. I put my cheese in it. I have one for my butter, but this one is the cheese. It's all hand painted. It's lovely. You just have to be careful with it on your glass in your fridge, but you can put down liners also, potting. And this is how my cheese comes out. Grandchildren love it again. They get to play with it, open the handle. Yes, I've had it break before, and I just replace it. I think this one, soon we'll be seeing the price to it. It's priced again to be handled. I think it says $12, $12, like you can't go wrong. It's fun again, and why not? Again, if I went to buy it, it'd be a lot of money. Here's a hand-painted Noritake dish. It says as is because it has a little chip. Once again, you can sand out the chip, but I'm gonna be using it, so I don't care. $6 is fine. It's got the flowers and it's all hand-painted. It's got its mark. It's nice, good old china. You can use it for mints, nuts, anything just sitting around and using. Here's an old creamer. That's good for the hot cocoa and if you need cream for your coffee or tea. 
It looks wonderful. It's very fine porcelain. It's been hand painted. Once again, this is what you'll find in my cupboards. It's a beautiful design. I think this one, I'm trying to get the price. I think it's six dollars too. You are not going to get a high quality china piece all hand painted for six bucks anywhere. This is really good thrifting at an antique mall. Here's the next piece. It's a pickle cruet. And once again, you'll find that in my fridge. It is priced at $45, this one. The silver definitely needs polishing if you're going to be using it. And there's tongs to the side. You just lift it up. You put your pickles in. I do olives also or onions and you just pick it out. Once again, the grandchildren love picking it out and eating it. It's all glass and silver plate. And you just hang up your fork and it's always there. And it's cute. Thank you. See you here. Enjoy.